Maxar Technologies has been awarded two contracts with a combined value of $35.8 million by the National Geospatial Intelligence Agency. Daniel Almasy, a former Raytheon Technologies executive, has been appointed Chief Human Resources Officer of SOSI. The Department of State has begun operating its new Office of the Special Envoy for Critical and Emerging Technology to help develop and coordinate foreign policy on emerging and critical technologies. Barbara McQuiston, Deputy Chief Technology Officer for Science and Technology in the Office of the Under Secretary of Defense for Research and Engineering, has been elected as Chair of NATO's Defense Innovation Accelerator of the North Atlantic Initiative's Board of Directors. The U.S. Army is exploring potential industry sources of a unified platform that could support enterprise-level data analytics work across the service branch. Army Major General Talita Crossland assumed leadership of the Defense Health Agency during a transfer of authority and responsibility ceremony held Tuesday at DHA headquarters in Falls Church, Virginia. The Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency has unveiled a new program that seeks to advance threat detection and warning capabilities for protecting crops such as corn, rice and wheat from damage. The Board of Governors of the Federal Reserve System, Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation and the Office of the Controller of the Currency have released a joint statement highlighting risks associated with crypto assets to banking organizations. Join Potomac Officers Club's Mission Partner Environment and JADC2 Intersection Forum on January 19, 2023. Visit potomacofficersclub.com slash events. The General Services Administration has added a new feature to the acquisition tool, eBuy, that allows contractors to inform agency customers they are interested in a request for quote or request for information. Space Systems Command has launched a small satellite on board the SpaceX Transporter 6 mission to showcase the capability of space-based electro-optical, infrared weather systems to provide weather imagery data from low Earth orbit. <laughs>